Hello and welcome to another painting video. In this video, I'll be painting one of the coolest models I've ever seen. The Mangler Squigs. Look at this crazy model. I love how absolutely insane it is. And how well it's engineered. The way the second squig is incorporated in the model is so cleverly done. I painted this pretty much the same way as I did my other Gloom Spide Gits. But I want to show you guys how to paint a more elaborate object source lighting on the model. Let's begin, shall we? I kept the two squigs separate for easy painting. After priming them black, I spray on a white primer from an angle to create a zenithal highlight. <laughs> I want both squigs to have different colors for variety. The first one is sprayed with a volupious pink. And the second squig is sprayed with a griffhound orange. You can of course do this with a brush, but using the airbrush is a big time saver. I can definitely recommend to keep the two squigs separate. They're easy to assemble after painting. I also covered the base with aluminum foil to preserve the zenithal highlight. On to highlighting the pink squig. First I go over all the raised areas with Emperor's Children. My style of painting is pretty sketchy, so I use a lot of feathering here. It's already a lot easier to see where to put the highlights. I paint these with a fulgrim pink. A final highlight of fulgrim pink mixed with palette switch flesh is added to the lightest parts of the skin. To add some variety I shade the back of the squig with fire slayer flesh where all the protrusions are. This is the same way I painted my other pink squigs. There's a lot more area here, so I build up the layers of each step a little bit more. On smaller squigs, this would not be very noticeable, but I can definitely recommend you do this on a model as big as this one. On to the orange squig. First, I highlight the skin with Troll Slayer Orange. Then I add a highlight of Fire Dragon Bright. As with the previous squig, I go over it several times, building up the layers. The final highlight is a mix of Fire Dragon Bright and Dorn Yellow. I shade the back of this squig with Gore Guntra Fur to break up the skin just a bit. The biggest areas of this model are already done. The skin might look a bit boring, all one hue, but at the end I'll be making it more interesting with some OSL effects. This is a repeat of the previous video, but I'll go over it anyway. First I paint the gums with Screamer Pink. Shade them with Druki Violet. Highlight with Emperor's Children. And highlight again with Fulgrim Pink. The lips of the squigs I paint with Rose Light Ink. This slightly transparent ink will make the lips look a little bit more flashy and this will add some realism to this very aggressive looking fungus monster. Teeth are painted with Usapti Bone, shaded with Skeleton Horde, and given a highlight of Screaming Skull. Because squigs are like 80% mouth, it's only logical to add some effort into making them look good. Especially painting the gums and lips in a slightly different hue really adds to the overall model. I paint the eye sockets and nose holes with Black Templar. 
The eyes are painted with flash kits yellow. On the one squig with the exposed skull, I paint the eye with flash terrors red to make the eye look a little bit more infected. I then highlight the eye back with flash kits yellow. And to finish, all eyes get a dot of Dorn yellow. Any horns I find on the squigs are painted with Black Templar. Then given a highlight of Thunderhawk Blue. A second highlight of Parisian Grey. And a final highlight of Blue Horror. The two big squigs are really coming together now. Just a few more details to paint before I can glue them together and we can start the OSL effects. The big juicy tongue is given a coat of Leviathan Blue. Then I start building up the highlights. First I use Cantor Blue. Then I use a Litec Blue. The deeper the tongue goes in the mouth, the less I highlight. I do make sure the drool coming from the tongue is highlighted very brightly. I add another highlight of Lotharum Blue. The final highlight on the tongue is Blue Horror. And I end with highlighting the drool with White Scar. This model has one detail that is missing from the smaller squigs. Big straps! I paint these with Sigur Brown contrast paint. Then I highlight the straps with Doom Bull Brown. Add another highlight of Scrag Brown. And end with a highlight of Deathclaw Brown. The squigs are now done. I purposely will not show you how I painted the goblins as this video is going to be way too long. Please check my Gloom Spite Gits video, the link is in the upper right, on how to paint the goblins themselves. After gluing the squigs together, I paint the base with Griff Charger Grey. Then I paint the base with Basiliconum Grey, which makes for a nice, bland looking rocky surface. Time to add some psychedelic lights to the model. I first spray all the mushrooms on the base with Titanium White, making sure the source of the light is white and bright. Then I aim the airbrush on the model and I spray Titanium White making sure it looks like the white spray is emanating from the mushrooms. Because the model is very tall, I did decide to add some invisible light sources, just to add some effects to the upper squig. Next, I'm spraying the three base colors on the model. First, I spray the ink called Fluorescent Blue. Then I spray Tesseract Glow where I want the light to be neon green. Then I spray on a mixture of the inks Magenta and Rose Light where I want the light to be bright pink. This is basically where I ended my original video. Although it looks nice, it does look very airbrushed. And as you can see, the pink light isn't very transparent, so I lost a lot of definition on the upper squig. We'll fix that in the following steps. First, I highlight the blue with a mix of Lotharum Blue and Blue Horror. I add more highlights with Blue Horror. and finish with a highlight of Blue Horror mixed with White Scar. The green light gets a highlight of Tesseract Glow mixed with Dorn Yellow. 
because the green is already very neon looking, I only add one more highlight of Dorn Yellow. I highlight the parts in the pink light with a mix of Emperor's Children and Fulgrim Pink. By adding another highlight of pure Fulgrim Pink, you can see some definition returning to the model. And I end with a highlight of Fulgrim Pink mixed with White Scar. And here we have a pair of Mangler Squigs. I really love this model and I don't get why it took me so long to pick up this army. As for my extended OSL effect, I think this looks a lot better and looks a lot less airbrushed. For another comparison, here you can see a Squig Hopper from the original video as I painted it. And here you see the Squig Hopper with more elaborate highlighting. Looks a lot better, doesn't it? This means though that I have to go back to all my original models and add these highlights to them as well. Oh boy. In the meantime, be sure to check out my Instagram where I post pictures of current projects and behind the scenes stuff. But for now, thanks for watching.